Sup guys, it's Joe here, and you join me continuing my F1 2017 career mode. We are now at Bahrain for the third round of the second season. So let's get straight back on the grind then. We don't quite have enough points for an upgrade just yet, so we're going to get grinding. We're going to get earning some points, hopefully have an upgrade ready for Russia. That'd be cool to get. Cheers, Hamilton! Cheers so fucking much! So here we go then, this is the Bahrain Grand Prix. I will be making a two-stop strategy. Also, I will be starting from the back of the field because I've taken on extra engine components, which I thought I may as well do here. An early track, especially one where overtaking will be easy, so... Just figured, may as well do it here, and then later on in the season when everyone else is taking theirs, I can take advantage of it. <laughs> so it balances itself out, but I just thought, because it's a track I can overtake at quite easily, and my one lap pace wasn't excellent, I feel like I'm not losing out too much in doing this. So, let's get underway. Here we go then, the Bahrain Grand Prix making a two-stop strategy. How can this race go? It's lights out and away we go here in Bahrain. We've made a decent start off the line. The second phase hasn't been too bad. You were heading into the first corner. Let's try and get past some of these back markers quite early on. In fact, oh, they're, they're all quite... I think, I swear there was a couple of guys that had a few knocks there. Sides went around the outside of me, knocked into me. I think he's not... The front wing a little bit there, but nothing that I'm overly worried about. Sight still on my right then. We're going four abreast into this corner. This cannot end well. And somehow that did not end in complete tears. I am amazed. I am completely amazed that that did not end horrifically. And Hamilton is leading the way at the moment. Long way to go yet. And Perez is having a look at me. I feel like this could be a bit of a midfield race here. We are on the slowest tyre for now. So maybe the race will come to us a little bit later on. I'm going to cover him around the outside. In fact, I'm going to go deep. That didn't go as bad as I thought it could have. Oh! And the damage on the car really starting to compromise us. Perez on the left just not giving us any leeway at all there we had to fight him off there and that is 11th place defended but the damage of the car we're actually feeling it a little bit here so we are losing ground to the top 10 we've got Perez having a look at us for that 10th place is he still alongside I can't tell no he backed out Oh, that is really deep round there. We just... Oh, Perez just knocking us out of the way. Perez has now got the move done. We are down to 12. And we just don't seem to have the grip or the pace right now of the runners ahead of us. We've got DRS on Perez, though. Is that going to be enough to maybe bring us back towards him? We definitely get closer, but no cigar. We had a brief yellow flag. I'm not... Oh, we've got a safety car. We have a safety car deployed. I wonder what that's for. No idea what's triggered the safety car, but that is good news because now I can pit in and change my wing. I have no idea what's triggered the safety car, though. Something must have happened. We're just coming up to finish the ninth lap now. Still at 20 to go. And here we go, then we are back underway at Bahrain. How many can we mug off the restart? Have anyone has anyone come into the pits? Not that I can see. Magnuson's having a look, but I'm now having a look at Alonso. And it really does make me realise just how slow that McLaren is. Oh my goodness me, that's some very late braking. Do we complete a triple overtake here? Kvyat is still on my left, so we haven't quite done it. Okay, now we have. Kvyat just not able to hold on to the position there. And that is a triple overtake we managed there. Brilliant stuff. 
Now we're coming up to Verline. He's in 14th place, and I want that place off of him. As things stand, both out of the points position. We're having a look at Verline. Are we going to suffer for that by going deep? No, nope, we've made that move stick. So that is a move done on Verline. Now we are up into P14. Four positions away from some points. And obviously points are very much what we want. We want points. And we're on the back of it at the moment. But we might be able to sneak up to it if they start scrapping it out. In fact, we're already making up some time as we come up to the last corner and exit it there. Few cars in the pits. That's going to make our job easier. In fact, we move up to six as a result of that. So we are now comfortably sitting in the points. Felipe Massa, who has also stopped, is next on the list of cars we need to overtake. Right, there he is. And what's going to happen here? Is that going to be a puncture for him? That looks like that is a puncture. I can't really tell what tyre that is, though. I think that's a left rear puncture on the car, on that McLaren. So that, that McLaren is going very slowly either way. So there we go, Van Dorn demonstrating a McLaren Honda at full power. Three more cars in the pits and we are going to move into third place now. So the safety car really helping us out because now we're in P3. Trying to get Massa in P2, he's not going to be very easy to catch though. Uh, maybe that's one for a little bit later in the race. Magnussen now up into fourth. So we're currently sitting in third, trying to catch Massa, but Massa's just a little bit quicker than us at this stage of the race. It doesn't look like we're able at this moment to catch him, but he is behind traffic, and I wonder if that's going to help us out at all. I do believe that's Van Dorn he's stuck behind. We've gone deep, so that's not going to help at all. And if anything, I think the hat of Magnussen is just starting to close us down a little. Any chance we can get some blue flags out here, please? I've got DRS. Cheers for that, Van Dorn. Thanks for the DRS. Oh, we're now leading. And Van Dorn still is in the way. Well, there we go. We've now lapped Van Dorn. The leaders are into the pits. We are three laps before our stop, and Max Verstappen is now out of the race. So we've lost Max Verstappen. I don't know if we're going to see what happened to him. Oh, Verstappen just slowing down completely there and just pulling off to the side. So meanwhile behind us, Hamilton is right up with Magnussen now. He's going to have a look up the inside, down the straight. Oh, what a camera angle that is. There's Hamilton going down the inside. Oh, Magnussen not liking that one bit. Give him a little love tap. And Hamilton then getting ahead of Magnussen. So we're just setting it there. Soft tyres when we put in. Hamilton's getting very feisty on my rear there. Just letting him know he is not coming through without a fight. And these tyres are well past their best. Now Hamilton's having another go. Oh, Hamilton, mate. What are you doing? I'm pitting, mate. Oh, what the? I was trying to pit, you lunatic. What the? That is the... Stupidest thing I've ever seen on this game. Hamilton blocking my way into the pits. No, I'm not taking responsibility for that. Why is my front wing still down? What? They didn't repair my front wing. Oh my god. Is this game serious? It, they did not repair my front wing. Uh, in the pits to now repair my wing. I have no idea of that incident at all. I was trying to pit. Hamilton was in the way. I probably should have backed out of that one. 
these now I'm pretty sure will make the end. And I think that's really cost us a decent result here. But we can still try and see what we can get now. We're about to get racing again. The green flag is out. Does anyone make a last minute pit stop? No, but you know what? Verline is looking pretty tasty for the taking. So we are now alongside Verline. We've already made up one place. Look at how fast we are catching that McLaren Honda. And late breaking again, another triple overtake. What the hell is Van Dorn doing? I'm not quite sure of that one. We're up to 13. Van Dorn is holding everybody up and being something of a nuisance here. And, well, that's helping me get past science. I'll lap Van Dorn as well in the process. And now he just kind of jumps out of everybody's way. A little too little too late, if you ask me. Now we're up to Lance Stroll in 11th. And the floodlights are starting to come on, and now we're really starting to come on stroll. That's a, a revolting turn of phrase there. I think I might want to revise that one. Down the inside, up the left-hander, we move up to 11. We're now just outside the point, so we've made up quite a few positions already. In fact, quite a few cars helping me out by pitting there. And we move up to fifth as a result of that. So this podium position is still on. In fact, that's the two Force Indias now in my way. So they are what stands between me and a potential podium here. So you know what? Let's get after them if we can. We're now right up off on. Can we get in this slipstream? Again, another weird turn of phrase there, Joe. You might want to rephrase your commentary before before saying it out loud, but now we're right up Ocon's rear. That's no better. <laughs> we're right behind Ocon now. We're going to make a move up the inside. That's a brave lunge, and we made a little bit of contact. We're now up into fourth place, and that podium position is just one space away now, and they're all kind of fighting each other. I think that's Perez up behind what I'm, might, I think might be Magnussen. Is anybody else making a pit stop? Yes. Who's that that's pitted this stage of the race? That's Kimi Raikkonen making a very late pit stop. Now Sergio Perez is in second place. Who is leading this one? Kevin Magnussen in the Haas is leading the race. Sergio Perez is in second. We're sitting in third. What a strange order we find ourselves in. In the closing stages of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Ocon's now coming under pressure from someone else. I can't quite see who at this stage. Perez is having a little look at Magnussen to no avail at this point. The Force India getting quite frustrated now and this becomes a three-way fight for the lead. Magnussen, Perez, me. And now I'm having a look at the inside of Perez here. Perez not trying to hold it out around the outside. Is he still on my left? Yes, yeah, so Perez not giving that one up. We're still side by side coming down the straight. But we're gaining momentum on Magnussen. And I'm down the inside, and Perez, I think, will have to... No, Perez still not giving up on that one. But now we're coming right up behind Magnussen, the race leader, with four laps to go. And what an incredible top three this is going to make, if this is how they finish. We're now really gaining on Magnussen, down the inside, and we take a lunge for the lead. Do we make it stick? No, Magnussen's on our left. Magnussen's still on, on the right, even. And Magnussen going very defensive. But we're going to take another lunge up the inside. Perez right behind him. And Magnussen are then now falling behind us as we take the lead in Bahrain. I never thought we'd be in this position in this race. And in fact, Raikkonen is now out of the race. So any idea what happened to him? Well, we just, so what's happened to Raikkonen? And that's a Ferrari engine failure. So Raikkonen out of the race after two wins on the trot. And unfortunately, he doesn't make it the hat trick. Started at the back, obviously, after taking a new set of engine components and whatnot. Um, we took a bit of a hit on the first lap with Sainz or one of the Toro Rossos coming across on me quite dramatically. And we made an early stop when the first safety car came out. I wasn't quite sure what that was for. Um, but that stop turned out to be a bit of a stroke of genius because it helped move me up the field. We were looking at some solid points. And then as I was coming to make another pit stop, Hamilton was in the way. I was trying to pit. I feel like I should have backed out, but 
you know, there was pride at stake. And there was a very surreal incident in the pits where he just crashed his car and he was still driving into his pit box, which is quite amusing. But we took a pit stop for tyres, the safety car was out, and then we had to stop again because they didn't fix the front wing damage I'd taken in that incident. And then I made one final stop to make sure I was on a set of super soft tyres which would go to the end of the race. A few other cars pitted, I made a few overtakes, and in short, we are leading the race out of the last corner, somehow taking the win at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Yes! Get in! I'm still not quite sure how that all happened, though. I'm going to have to watch the full race back and watch it unfold bit by bit to try and understand that one. Brilliant stuff from Renault today. What a superb victory. <laughs> Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Even Anthony Davidson's He's lost for words there. Drivers, and what a race it was. This is a team that knows success very well in F1, and they're just itching for even more. Congratulations to the Renault team for their excellent win today. My driver is so happy with that one. And we've got Perez and Magnussen on the podium with us. What a strange podium. It's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye until the next race. Well, I'm not quite sure how all that came to pass, but after that mad race, we are now up into second in the driver's standings. Just seven points off the lead with, that's being held by Raikkonen. That is Bottas and Perez. I never thought that would be the top four of the standings at this stage. And in the constructors, Renault are now sitting in third. So we're ahead of Force India. Renault have taken a massive fall. Renault? Red Bull, I should say, have taken a big drop this weekend and have now dropped to fifth. <sighs> well, I'm not quite sure what happened in that race. That was all a bit mad. <laughs> well, that one was a bit crazy. I'm still going to have to watch back the video and understand how I managed to take that win. But thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, it is goodbye from me. Cheerio, guys.